My name is Han. Tonight I am gonna review Zoom Player. Right there, Zoom Player. This is the box that came with it. What's inside this box? This is the front. And this is the back. What came with it? There's a little bag you can carry around. It also came with a CD with the softwares and manual book and a cable. This end you connect to the Zoom player. This end you connect to the, your computer, the USB port. What this cable does, it does two functions. First function is it transfers the data from your computer to your Zoom player. It's called syncing, uh, vice versa. You, it can sync the data from your Zoom player to your computer. It also does second things, which is very important as well. It charge the Zoom player to the USB port. And you can actually listen to the music while it's charging. So without further ado, let me show you actually the player. This is the Zoom player. This is the headphone that came with it. And it pretty much go pretty long. I mean, I have not find a ran out of. This is way long enough for me. So I don't know about you guys, but you can easily replace this headphone if you're not happy with it. The sound quality is actually very good. And if you get a bad headphone, you should be able to get a better sound quality. But what came with it, it's pretty good for me. So, and I'm DJ, so I know about sound. This is probably about twice as thick as iPod. This is supposed to be the player that's competing with iPod. It's supposed to be the replacement. Retail value for this player typically around $200. I bought the brown version for a very good deal for about 70 bucks at Amazon.com and it's a 30 gig version. Um, I have a tons of tons of music and videos in here. Uh, I still feel about halfway to this player so it will be a long way before I can fill this whole player up the control buttons is very easy to use just collect and this is what the manual looks like you will automatically go off because I you have to tune the settings to save batteries so here's just a couple options as you scroll up and uh, let me see oh let's go Go to music. All right, and this pretty much how you you know menu navigating to the menu options. And uh, let me just you also play videos since I cannot really show the sound quality. And let me show you just what the image quality is like. So give me a couple of minutes to uh, put out the video. So here. It's just a template life concert that I actually put in here directly ripped from the uh, DVD. Um, as you can see, the screen size is uh, uh, well made, and the only way you can watch the video is horizontally. There's no way you can watch vertically anything. Um, but the screen size is bigger than the iPad itself, so I really enjoy it. And if you are if you're in the process of learning how to dance, this is great because you can just take this to the gym and uh, actually just put the dance video on here and watch because sometimes you tend to forget about, about the moves stuff. So, so here's like example of the dance video I have on here. So you can just pop this thing and watch for a couple of seconds and practice in the gym or dance uh, studio, whatever it is. So uh, I really out of out of star for five. I would love to give this player five out of five rating because it has treated me well. I had this thing about three months now. Love it. We recommend everybody to go get it. But there's two troubles you might get into is installing the software itself 
I rec strongly recommend you go on the Microsoft website, download the latest version, also install the latest firmware for this player. Once those things are in place, you shouldn't have any troubles at all to get this player function. It, this player came with two different sync functions. One is you actually sync to your primary computer which you set your player on. You also have the option of sync to a second or third or your friend's computer or fourth or fifth computer as a guest syncing. Uh, the difference between the primary syncing and the guest syncing. Primary syncing you actually have identical songs on your primary computer and on your player. As a guest sync that you only sync on the guest computer song that will not touch any song that's on your player that is was synced to the old primary computer so you don't have to worry about losing those. Uh, what it does, you can use get sync option to actually add more song to it or delete the guest songs from the Zoom player. So it might sound kind of confusing but once you get it, uh, you will get it and uh, you will love it like as I again this is Han reporting from Expo TV thanks for watching until next time practice and enjoy